Hey guys, Goodfellow here bringing to you NBA 2K12 Association with the Toronto Raptors and today we're going to play against LA Clippers but before that we're going to simulate through Timberwolves game and Mavericks game because in the comment section in the last video you guys wanted to see LA Clippers and Miami Heat so I'm going to bring those two videos but today we're just going to play the Clippers and I just wanted to show you the box score so you could see who's performing well for me and who's not. And it's going to be a factor on whether I'm going to trade this certain player or maybe keep him. But as you can see, we lost to Timberwolves in a 13-point loss. And then we won in a close game against Mavericks, only won by two. And it looks like Bargnani and Dirk Nowitzki were going at each other. So that was pretty entertaining to watch, I bet. But uh, let's get into the Clippers game right here. I'm ready to play as Bargnani dropped 26 against Mavericks. So hopefully he can step up in this game. For some reason, whenever I play with him, he's very inconsistent, but whenever he plays against other CPUs, like CPU versus CPU, he does pretty well. But as you can see, Clippers are 4-0 to begin the season, so they are in hot form. So we're going to have to try to stop Chris Paul and Blake Griffin, the Lob City. And for some reason, they have DeAndre Jordan starting off the bench, and I think because Kenyon Martin rating is a bit higher, and that's why they have him at center. And as far as the Raptors starting lineup, nothing has changed since the last video. I'm really liking my team. I'm content with staying with this team and drafting some prospects. But obviously that could change on depends on how the team will perform during the season as we are posting up against Chauncey Billups. And what a nice way to start the game dunking on Chauncey Billups and Blake Griffin. Don't help him out. Just leave him there. You just dunked on him. I mean, Chauncey is a grown man and he has his own teammates to help him out. Why would you... Help him out there, but Andrea Borgnani, nice rebound and one, heading to the free throw line. So it's a close game early on as Karan Butler on a fast break. Borgnani kind of just walks away from that block and completely whiffs on it. And uh, Borgnani with an open look, he's going to miss that shot. And that's what frustrates me about Borgnani. Sometimes he's unstoppable, but sometimes he can't even hit open looks like that right there. As you can see, Klaza and Jonas Valanciunas are in the game now. And DeMar DeRose, a nice curl cut. And he gets a tough layup. And we're down by 10 early on. As uh, Amir Johnson going to pick and roll with Jose Calderon. Kick out to Amir Johnson. He's not going to shoot that. Drives to the basket. Tough layup. And one Reggie Evans was trying to take a charge there. Wasn't there in time. And Jonas Valanciunas posting up against Canyon Martin. Gets the contact and makes it. And heading to the free throw line. And my goal with Jonas Valanciunas is have at least one possession a game where he goes into post. Because I want to develop his post game. But uh, right now it's very raw so he's not that good. As Chauncey Billups pulls up for a three. Gets the friendly roll and gets it in from downtown. And Chauncey Billups, I want you guys to pay close attention to that guy. He's going to be hurting us throughout the game. And uh, he will be the halftime player you will see. But not before Wilson Chandler dunks on Chris Paul in transition. Just driving down the lane and just putting manhood in his face. Kind of disrespectful there. And uh, Chris Paul passes it to Chauncey Billups. And Ali, you pass to Blake Griffin. Lob City is out in Toronto. But we're not going to sit back. We have Rap City in here. So we're going to have to try to throw alley-oops of our own and hopefully make... Some exciting plays and in transition, DeMar DeRozan, I see Andrea Bargnani for trailer three. Perfect release, he's going to make the shot, cutting the lead down to two points. So we're feeling good and Eric Bledsoe is going to feed Wilson Chandler on a fast break with an alley-oop. And this is not Lob City, ladies and gentlemen, this is Rap City, Air Canada, whatever you like to call it. We're throwing alley-oops here in Toronto, just rising in Air Canada and uh, right here pick and roll action Eric Bledsoe takes his strong to the rim gets fouled heading to the free throw line and Wilson Chandler has been a nice addition to my team he plays very good defense he can shoot outside and dunks on people like Chris Paul and uh, throws alley-oops like that so that's a very nice addition I'm very happy with the signing and he wasn't very expensive so that was a bonus for me as Xavier Henry behind the three-point line he's gonna nail it Cutting the lead down to three with few seconds remaining in the second quarter. We'll run a last play before the halftime for Andrea Bargnani. He's going to spin off and he's going to dunk all over Karan Butler. Oh me, oh my. I will see you after halftime. Toronto, we'll see you in just a moment.
Hello and welcome to the HP Halftime Report. It's time to break down some Wednesday night hoops. It's been the Clippers scraping it out. They're getting after it on the offensive boards, making plays with sheer energy. Chauncey Billups has been locked in so far. He's got 17 points and has been getting after it on defense as well. No let up on either end of the court. On the other side, the Raptors looking pretty solid as well. They're looking to climb above 500 here in the early going. Andrea Bargnani playing impressively so far. He has 11 points and has caused a lot of problems on the defensive side, swatting away plenty of shots. These two enjoyed great first halves, really leading the way for both teams. We could be in for a great finish. So what's the best way to start the second quarter? Well, how about an alley-oop to Wilson Chandler in transition to start off the second half? Woo! Lop City versus Rap City, and so far I counted more Raptor alley-oops. But uh, we'll see how it goes for the rest of the gamers. We are still down. DeMar DeRozan not settling for a jump shot. Takes it strong to the hole. And uh, gets an easy layup there. His pick and roll with Andrea Bargnani. He's going to cut to the basket. Nice pass from Eric Bledsoe. And that was an easy dunk for Andrea Bargnani. And Bledsoe is a great point guard. He's young. He plays good defense. And he does a nice job of involving my teammates. As you can see, DeMar DeRozan with a tough layup gets it to go. And I see Eric Bledsoe as future point guard for my team. As you can see, nice pass to Wilson Chandler from downtown. He's going to make it, and we're cutting into this game. 16 points, 12 rebounds. Very nice effort from Wilson Chandler. But Chauncey Billups still hurting us as he's going to nail a fadeaway in DeMar DeRozan's face. That was a nice fadeaway. Can do anything there as he's gonna lob pass it to DeAndre. He's gonna miss it with shot clock winding down. Eric Bledsoe on a fast break gets the layup to go, and that will be it for the third quarter. As Karan Butler isolating against Linus Klaza, he's gonna drive to the basket. Nice floater right there, no chance of blocking there. And that was a very nice decision from Karan Butler as shot clock winding down. Mo Williams pulls up. Nice defense from Jose Calderon. Unfortunately, we couldn't secure the rebound as DeAndre Jordan just flies in and gets an easy putback. That was way too easy. And Lob City is still fighting back against Rap City in a close game. They're up by six. Wilson Chandler up and under move. Gets fouled and won. Heading to the free throw line and I believe he's going to make it. We're down by five. Wilson Chandler cuts to the basket and dunks on James Johnson. What a beast. What a monster. Dunking on former Raptor. Nice initiation there in Air Canada Center. So we're all good there as Jose in transition hooks up with DeMar DeRozan. What a nice alley-oop feed. And we are still fighting back against Clippers. Still throwing alley-oops in the fourth quarter. Very exciting game so far. A lot of exciting highlight plays. We're down by two. Karan Butler for mid-range. Right in Wilson Chandler's face. And that was a very close shot. As DeMar going to get a steal. Running on a fast break. What do I see? I see Amir Johnson. He's going to dunk on Chris Paul. Are you kidding me? That was a nice feed from DeMar DeRozan in transition. Dunking on Chris Paul. You knew Amir Johnson had to get into this alley-oop scene. And that was a nice finish right there. And this right here is a key possession. With four minutes to go, we're tied at 99. And Chris Paul is going to try to get his offense going. But Jose is going to get this steal. And he's on a fast break. He's going to lay it off to... Wilson Chandler off the backboard and Wilson Chandler continuing his amazing performance in this game. Finishing off nice alley-oop. Nice pass from Jose and a nice alley-oop. We're still throwing alley-oops and that's going to continue as Jose going to find Amir Johnson this time. And Jose Calderon giving us some spark with these flashy passes and Amir Johnson with a nice finish. So we're throwing alley-oops like it's almost a blowout, but it's a close game. And this is where I'm going to my go-to guy, Andrea Bargnani. Fade away, he's going to miss the key shot. And we're still down by one with 30 seconds to go. Clippers are going to slow down the offense and drain some of the shot clock as they're going to pass it to Blake Griffin. He's going to go to the rim. He's not going to take the shot even though he had a wide open lane. He's just going to drain some more clock and up and under move. And Andrea Bargnani fouls Blake Griffin. Very unfortunate foul right there. 
we had a foul to give and Blake Griffin is gonna convert on both free throws putting his team up by three I had to call a timeout with 19 seconds to go pick and roll with Amir Johnson and Eric Bledsoe from downtown off the dribble misses the shot and we are forced to foul very unfortunate there he's gonna drain his first free throw and Chris Paul is gonna drain both of them and with eight seconds to go it's gonna be a tough to come back as Eric Bledsoe gonna pass it to Andrea Bargnani for wide open three He's going to miss the shot and that's going to seal the game for today. Very tough loss against LA Clippers losing by 5 in the 4th quarter. Oh man that was a tough loss to swallow but at least it was an entertaining game. And I hope you guys enjoy the game. As you can see Karan Butler and Chauncey Billups with 26 and 23 respectively killed me in this game. And um, Barniani and DeMar DeRozan struggled from the field. Very poor percentage. But Amir um, Johnson and Wilson Chandler had nice games for themselves. But uh, that's it for me, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And if you really like this video, don't forget to leave a like. It always helps me out. And uh, thanks for watching. More videos to come. Heat should be next in my association. Peace.